The orphans are now 11 months old and are growing quickly. They have one year left until their release. One thing all young cubs need is exercise to develop strong muscles. In the wild, they'll be walking several kilometers a day in search of prey. Most days now, they're let off the lead to stretch their limbs and follow their noses. And today, their noses lead them to water. Jaguars are aquatic animals. So Leandro and Anna have built the cubs their very own open-air swimming pool. It's a fun part of their training, but in the wild, they'll need to stalk and hunt in rivers to survive. The smallest cub, Maya, seems to have a special affinity with the water. She's always been the most playful of the three. The orphans are in their element, enjoying their new pool. But there's a serious point to this exercise. Among all large cats, jaguars are the ones that most love water. They hunt by rivers, they hunt capybaras, caiman, turtles, and they are good divers too. And so all this is very important for them. Hey, look at what you've done. Hey! Ah, it's getting worse. It's not fair. Oh. The cubs are in no rush to go home and keep disappearing into the tall grass. It's about time to take them back to their enclosure. But, you know, it's like waiting for the kids in the park. You know, they want to have the last minute's fun playing around and chasing. So we're just waiting for that moment to end and have them back. Even when they're out of their enclosure, the cubs are still deeply attached to Leandro and Anna, looking to them for reassurance. After a life of studying jaguars from a distance, they're enjoying the close contact. But how much longer can it go on? Perhaps the biologists have become too close to the subjects of their experiment.